Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to start a new series of tutorials on how to use Xenology Pro. As you can see, I'm using a MacBook Air M1 chip. I have Roland Zenbit as a DO and as a host, and I've just added a instrument track where I have selected Xenology Pro as a audio unit. So let's start to go through the interface for this first tutorial. So when you first open it, you have the screen like so. So what I like to do when I have um, the screen is click on the menu, then select zoom. And then you see it says zoom equal 158%. Click and hold as you are dragging and then you can change the size of the screen. Click again to exit the zoom selection. So as you can see, it's uh, a better um, or bigger resolution, bigger screen, bigger window, so you can see better on, on the video. Okay, so let's to go, start to go through uh, some uh, of uh, the functionality on the screen. I'll come back to the edit menu in a moment because it changes the zoom um, setting. So first of all, you have a menu uh, here button, click on it. Here you can select zoom as I have just done. So you can change the size of the window with um, your mouse, of course. Then you have a clear MIDI control mapping, which clears the assignment or control change numbers to the parameters, that's what it does. Then what you have, what you see after that is a setting for voice limits you can go from light middle or heavy depending on the machine that you are using next you see a flips control direction or options this is quite nice it works only on a mac but it gives you the ability to invert the direction of rotation when you are actually using the mouse wheel to edit a value and i found that um like a, a nice um uh, things to be added in comes handy depending, of course, on your preferences. You have an authentication option, which performs a user authentication for uh, as an analogy. Then you have a, a help selection, which allows you to show the, which will show you the uh, owner's manual. And then you have the usual about screen. Okay, let's click outside to exit that. You have, of course, a keyboard button, as you can see, it um, shows the, key the keyboard underneath. I have actually selected um, already an, an external MIDI controller, which I have connected. It's a Roller MIDI controller, A49, which is really nice. It's been out for a while, but still very uh, reliable. You can click on it again to, of course, um, uh, minimize or hide the window view. And you can also show and hide the master effects panel as well. As you can see, when you click on some of these buttons, it changes the size of the window based on what it has to show. Okay. Now in the middle here, this is where you have the tone or drum kit indication is called. So you can use the arrow here to go up and down the list of presets. Okay. This is where it says um, preset or user, depending on what you have selected. Then you have the uh, bank names there. Okay, here you have the tone or drum kit name. And then here you have the tone and um, or drum kit number. Then up here you have the engine uh, type, in this case, uh, Z code, which is really nice, really powerful. And then here you have your uh, category as well. And if you click here on uh, the um, name of the preset, it will open these tone and drum kit preset. Of course, you, then you can close it as well to go back to the previous window. Okay, perfect. Other things you can see on, uh, on the screen is you have a right button there, which allows you to access the tone or drum kit manager allow you to save, um, well, your tone or drum kit. Also, you might see sometimes an overwrite button at the bottom here. This is shown only when you are seeing or using a user bank for tone or drum kit. 
kit and it allows you to save the Tron drum kit uh, directly to the currently selected bank number. Of course, without going through the tone and drum kit manager screen, which I will show you later on. And you have also um, adjustment for uh, your master tune as well. Here you have your level, okay, that you can adjust, okay, like so. Just click on it, and you can see the, the uh, values uh, down here. And if you use control and click on it, you, then you can select Learn MIDI for, lean, for uh, learning new MIDI CC. So you can operate that volume directly from your MIDI controller. And of course, you cannot forget what has been already selected. Okay, perfect. So let's continue with, um, with uh, um, how are you? Okay, so let's now focus here in what is called the tone screen. Okay, so first thing I want to show you is, um, well, let me play the sound which I have selected, which is called JX screen. <laughs> find this really nice. Okay, the first thing you can do is to select the mono. At the moment it is polyphonic. If you select the mono, of course it will uh, play only mono. Now the other thing I want to show you is you have an option for unison. And this is where it, it layers multiple instances of a sound. Okay. So, and all together, which is really nice. So let me sh um, pay attention with uh, the selection on. Let's turn it on. Okay, really nice. Then we have an option for legato. Well, when this is on, while mono is on, it makes the pitch changes smoothly. Okay, and practically is um, play the next key before releasing the current key or the previous key, which um, of course makes it um, more interesting. Okay, so if I was to remove legato, you can hear that the uh, is more of a staccato uh, option as you move from one note. To the other. Then you have, of course, portamento, which allows you to apply the portamento effect on and off. Of course, you hear that better depending on the interval of distance between one note to uh, the next. Okay, now let's have a look at this part of the screen here. Okay, first of all, you have your cutoff knob, which adjusts how far the, the filter is actually open. Okay, really nice. Then you have your resonant knob as well, which boosts the components of the sound that are near the cutoff frequency. it depends on the cutoff frequency which you have selected uh, on your previous dial. Um, okay, next you have a attack knob which specifies the time and from when the key is pressed until the sound completes is attack, goes to the uh, top value. And this is the foundation of creating strings, for example, or pads. As the sound moves uh, gradually to the top, he has an attack. You can also increase the release, which is the specified time from where the key is released until the sound disappears. So, let's remove the portamento. You see, it's taking longer to actually see the sound. Even longer. And then you have uh, a vibrato option as well which allows you to adjust the depth of vibrato effect. And of course, as you click 
control or right click, you can still have option for le learn medium and forget to medium. So let's try the vibrato option. <laughs> Okay, really nice. Okay, perfect. Okay, what I want to show you now is uh, a little bit about the edit screen. Okay, and uh, if you click on edit, this is where you're, uh, uh, you move to the edit screen. Of course, at this moment, the default selection is visual edit, but also you have a pro edit. And I will explain those in the next uh, tutorial. So I just wanted to show you how you access the edit screen. As you can see, change the zoom back to the default, right? So now I want to show you also how to apply um, effects as well. Let's zoom in a bit, okay, like so. Right, so at the moment we have um, JX Cream without any effect. <laughs> Okay, really nice. Now let's click um, here where it says through. Then let's go to the chorus section and let's apply a Juno 106 chorus, which is really nice. And let's go that for uh, uh, mode number five and let's try. Okay, really interesting. Let's perform a little bit with these settings, these uh, JX Cream and also with these uh, Juno 106 chorus. Okay, really nice, just a little bit of improvisation. So I hope you found this first uh, uh, tutorial useful as we progress to the next one and we'll go into the edit option of Synology Pro. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.